Hello, Scorpio babies. Well, what's up? Representing for the Scorpio fam. I myself am a Scorpio. I love you, I love you, I love you. You got this. Keep on, keep on keeping on. I know what you're feeling and you're going through because I'm going through it too. My dearest Scorpios, for the month of March, what is it that Holy Spirit would like for us to see, to hear, to know, to feel? May it come through in this reading right now. I have drawn for you, Anna, grandmother of Jesus. Scorpios are always big picture thinkers. Thinking of the greater good. We have this deep understanding that there's more to life. It's in our bones. It's in our bodies. It's in our makeup. We feel the depths of this world and the depths of this universe. everyone sees and experiences that openness and that rawness. So easily we can build things, walls, blocks, boundaries. So easily we can bloom and nourish other people's gardens. There is a strong vibrational energy that exists within the bodies of Scorpios. Very high attraction powers. People are drawn to you. You are drawn to places because there is a divine plan. You are who you are for a reason. You're doing what you're doing for a reason. We may not always get to see the outcome of our purpose, of our drive, of our mission, but we trust in it. This card is an invitation to really be humble in that trust, in that power, in the vibration, in the attraction. Trust in your gifts and your abilities. Embody them on a deeper level. Embody your body and this life on a deeper level. You are seeding the light this world. Trust in the divine plan and divine spirit. Trust in your feelings. Trust in your intuition. For the month of March, really step back be with yourself, be present, be with your energy, your body, be witness to yourself and how your human is operating in the world and operating with others. The second card I've drawn is align your life, what is not aligned or needs to change. Being 
being so open, having such a free spirit or an open field leaves more space for your field of energy to be full, to be filled. Just because the space is there where you are able to do something doesn't mean that you should do it, have to do it, or even truly desire to. You already know the answers. Pay closer attention. What is not aligned or needs to change? How can you honor that? You already know the answers. You know when something is not aligned. Say yes to yourself, to this life, to your powerful being. Say yes to the divine plan energy to the divinity that is you that moves through you that is the expression of you tune into yourself you're here with purpose thank you so much for being here right now and receiving these messages to your Scorpios I hold you in my heart now and always. If you would like deeper guidance or a personal reading, please reach out to me. My website's listed below. And if you like this video, let me know. Comment, subscribe, share. I love you and thank you.